I'm so upset about. I feel so stressed. I don't know what is going on. To pass, you need over 50%. Virtual GP session. That, or I just really need to improve how I write essays, because apparently I'm no good at it. And in the main one, I got... Welcome back to my channel everyone and to another day in my life as a first year medical student. So recently I've loved starting my day with some yoga and I just did this yoga with Adrian Sunrise Yoga Flow. Always find starting the day with yoga just puts me in the best mindset for the rest of the day and helps me achieve so much more and stay positive through this lockdown. I then just started getting ready and I did my favourite everyday makeup routine. I actually haven't really been wearing makeup recently but I have a lot of virtual stuff on today so I wanted to look at least remotely presentable for everyone. I then got changed into something comfy and smart but of course no day of online uni is complete without slippers. I then set my forest timer and just cracked on with doing an hour of Anki questions. This is how I've started every day of medical school this term and I love doing a little bit each day to help it add up good morning my loves and welcome back to my channel so before anything i'm so sorry that i still can't properly smile i am now talking properly but i still am finding my lip so sore and if you don't know what i'm on about then go and watch my previous video because i just had a lip operation so it is still a little bit tender but it's definitely so much better it is now thursday and i actually have my gp placement today i get my results for my exams and i thought you know what it's such an exciting day i just want to bring you all along if you do like the sound of today's video then please remember to give it a big thumbs up and i would also love if you join the family and subscribe to all things medicine uni lifestyle there really is something for everyone now it is actually just after eight and i'm going to go and get some breakfast and then my gp starts at 9 15 on zoom in my group i then went downstairs and got a coffee and of course my famous overnight oat recipe it is now nine i'm just about to log on to my virtual gp session it's so weird having my gp placement online but it's better than nothing and i still really really enjoy it i know today we are actually going through our essay plans this module is called cbm which means community-based medicine so we have an essay to write for the end of march and she should be going through them with us individually at some point this morning Morning. we planned a little case study which i'm going to quickly run through now and then i know we are getting our results at one o'clock i am so nervous but i'm just really trying not to think about them they're done now like there is nothing you can do there is no point worrying i then logged on to zoom and said hello to my cbm group it was so nice to see them all for the first time after christmas i honestly love my gp placements so much i know they are slightly funny being online but they are seriously run so well and i just love a thursday so i'm so excited to have you all with me today's theme is embarrassing questions which is quite funny because i'm not going to be able to laugh at any of these questions even if i wanted to because i literally cannot smile and we have been sat task one which is just to go through these little clips from embarrassing bodies and then just evaluate how the doctor talks about the questions and what sort of language they use and just write notes on that while we are all doing this before we go back to the meetings we're having a one-to-one -one zoom to go over our essay plans i go to the toilet about 10 to 12 times a day it takes out about three hours of my day dean it's a pleasure to meet you and you dawn now what can i do for you huh? I continued watching these clips and writing notes on any questions that we were going to be asked before i had my meeting with my gp I just had my one-to-one -one meeting with her and that went really well. She really liked my essay plan. The only thing is she wants me to find one more study. So I found a study on an app, which I kind of knew wasn't going to be relevant, but I thought it was really interesting. She said, I'm just making my life more hard for myself because it isn't relevant for my patients. So we're going to find a different study to evaluate. And then she helped answer all my questions as well. So we are on a really good track. I'm just going to finish watching the embarrassing body clips and write a few more notes and then prepare for task two which is about coming to a diagnosis for this man that had abdominal pain um i'm just going through 
through this little clinical examination book working out what sort of questions you should be asking and how i'm coming to my diagnosis for this imaginary patient that i have we have just been talking about taking histories from patients all morning and it was so interesting i really enjoyed that now we've just got some more case studies to watch and have lunch before we go back for two o'clock so it's now quarter to one i actually get my results in 15 minutes i can't quite believe it i'm feeling very very nervous but i'm going to try and get these tasks done before the results come out in true med school fashion it is now quarter past one and we still haven't got our results so i'm just going to go and get some lunch i'm really hungry with my lunch, what I've recently loved doing is instead of watching YouTube or the telly, which I can find just kind of takes me off track for the afternoon, I've loved learning a new class. I feel like now is the perfect time to mention today's sponsor, which is actually Skillshare. And thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. For those of you who haven't heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is an amazing online community filled with literally thousands of classes from design, photography, videos, crafts, and so many more. Skillshare is for anyone from complete beginners to absolute masters and they have so many classes to fit around your schedule. Now I've literally been loving Ali Abdul's classes on studying, productivity and even this one which is on editing so hopefully this channel is going to have a huge glow up and my editing skills are going to be amazing for you all takes me some time though because final cut is complicated but there are so many more another one that i really enjoyed is the productivity today class on managing your productivity in the digital world and using todoist moving my to-do list from paper to an app has honestly been revolutionary this little app makes the most satisfying noise when you tick something off your list this class is with Kevin Sistra and there is also a really good one on iPhone photography that I want to do. And basically you can just learn so many different skills. And the best part is the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the subscription bar below will get a free premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Following on from this, Skillshare is so affordable at less than $10 a month. Why not try something new this year and start a class that you may have never have thought of there is so much to explore on Skillshare and I'm really excited for you to get started. I was just finishing my lunch and then literally the group chat went mad. And apparently even though the email hasn't been sent out, the scores are actually online. I don't know, everyone is like stressing me out. I feel so stressed. I don't know what is going on. Basically, there's just a load of numbers. So, so the first one is the essay that I wrote and I got 58. Now, is that 58%? I worked so hard on this essay. I'm going to be so upset if that is 58%. And in regional anatomy, I got 58 as well. I don't know if that is 58%. The thing is, it's so hard because I don't know what these are. And then in the main one, I got 75%. So that is a pass as well. But the thing with that one is, is we really need it broken down because you have to pass each module individually. So basically these numbers are all just useless and I need to wait for the email to come through. But whether they actually ever email us, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed with 258, so I'm not going to lie. But there's nothing you can do about it now. I will update you all properly when I actually get an email and know what is going on because the med school is so late with this. We then logged on and finished the rest of our afternoon classes. We even learned how to take bloods online. The day I actually do a practical will be so exciting and I hope I'm actually good at it when it is not all virtual. It is now four o'clock and I've just finished placement with the GP for the day. I have to say my lip is getting a little bit sore from all of this talking and attempting not to smile, which is nearly physically impossible for me. I love smiling. I can't wait for the day. I can have my smile back on camera and I just can start laughing again because life is so serious when you have such a straight face. Now I need to do some editing because my video is going up at five. It's upload day and there currently isn't a thumbnail. So I need to make a thumbnail for my video. Video. and then I think I'm gonna do it as a premiere so you can all watch along with me and then I have a little bit of work that I need to do for CBM afterwards let me quickly show you something that came in the post that I'm so excited about so you probably aren't all aware because no societies are happening at uni this year but I actually am in the university polo team so as in like 
horse polo sticks it is so fun i would really recommend it i never tried it before i went to university i was like you know what i'm gonna join it and i loved it whilst it was on it has been cancelled but hopefully you know i'll get to go back one time this year however the little jumpers came in the post i was so excited i was like i swear i've been really good i haven't ordered any clothes ha ha I'm quickly going to try this on to show you because I'm so excited. It looks so nice. This is just what it looks like. And it's got the uni logo on here. And then this is what it looks like from the back. Just wish more stuff like this was happening. It would make university so good. Hopefully, some point of my first year will be remotely normal. Whilst we were on our last few sessions, we actually had an email from the university explaining our exam results. So I thought I would go through them properly with you now because it was so chaotic earlier. Even finding out your results is not straightforward. But they explained that they would notify you if you failed any of the modules. So like I said earlier, I have passed everything in my main foundation module. So CEP, NAS, MTM and PPP which are the main modules that I take for medicine got 75% overall which I am so happy with I'm really pleased with that I wasn't expecting to do amazing because they're my first set of exams and I really hadn't like worked out a strategy that worked for me I felt so overwhelmed with information to revise at Christmas and then everything is pretty much the same so for PAS I only got 58% which, like I said, I'm so disappointed about. I worked so hard on this essay and to only get 58%, which is only 8% off a of fail, I'm so upset about. However, it was my first piece of academic writing and all I have now is the mark. There's like no breakdown of why it was. I might have just made a really stupid mistake and lost it on my referencing or my spag. So I'm not going to get too upset until I get the proper feedback. And of course, when I do, I will let you all know that or I just really need to improve how I write essays because apparently I'm no good at it considering the fact I spent so long writing it. Then regional anatomy, 58% I was expecting. Like I felt like that exam went so, so badly. And to be honest with you, I'm just happy that I passed it for now. That is 58% of one exam. We have two exams and then to pass you need over 50% started doing anatomy in a different way which I will explain in another vlog but hopefully that is going to help bring my grade up because 58% is scraping it and I don't want to scrape it I want to do well we are going to work on that this semester and that is going to improve you watch we are going to start to love anatomy Anna no longer hates anatomy she's going to love anatomy we're going to change our mindset change our vision technique smash anatomy overall I feel okay I'm really happy with 75% I would obviously love a bit more of a breakdown and a bit more feedback and I don't know when that is coming they haven't said but I don't have to retake anything I passed I then got started making a thumbnail and just finishing off all the little touches to get the video ready we have just finished the thumbnail for this week's video and it's all ready it's live to go we're going live at 5 15 and I am going to be on the premiere <laughs> Finishing off everything so it was all ready for the premiere, I then went on live and replied to all of your comments on YouTube and Instagram and it was so nice the reactions to me getting my lip done. The GP just set us a few more tasks that I need to go through and organising for our next GP session so I'm going to do that now so it gets it out the way before I go and get some dinner. It is now half six and I have to say I'm getting so hungry. I really need to go and get some dinner. I'm just going to go and get some of my favourite which is the What The Cluck chicken pieces and then I'm going to come back and do a tiny little bit of prep for tomorrow. We have an SGT at 10 o'clock which is on anatomy and I told you I'm trying to be really good with anatomy this term. So I'm going to do like an hour prep after dinner and then go to bed and get an early night because I'm absolutely shattered. It's been quite a busy day but Thursdays are one of my favourite days so I really hope you enjoyed coming along for the day and seeing what I get up to and if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really helps support my channel hopefully when I next see you my lips will be properly healed and better and I hope you all have an amazing week and I'll see you all so soon bye